by far one of the biggest questions that I get, and I get this every single day, is how is President Biden going to save Social Security? Well, I wanna talk about that. Because President Biden's big plan to save Social Security all starts with taxing the rich. Now, some people say this is a great plan, others say that this is horrible and it's bound to fail, but why? Well, that's what I wanna discuss in today's video because this is so important. It's impacting almost 50 million people every single day. And this is one thing that we now know lawmakers are just slow to react to. So we'll get to that in just a second. Before we do, all I ask is if you enjoy these daily uploads, do me a favor, make sure you guys go ahead, hit that like button. Also consider subscribing so you never miss an update. But what is going on here? Well, according to the Social Security Administration, they are saying in they are saying that right now they bring in about 90% of all their revenue is from tax uh, taxing earned income. So that means taxing the working class people. And the reason why taxing billionaires and multi multi millionaires is likely not going to work is because they would have to change their tax code. It's not just taxing them based off their earned income. Now they got a tax, uh, and one of the biggest issues with President Biden's plan, he wanted to tax unearned income. How do you do that? That's where things get very problematic. Also, if we're taxing billionaires that are worth $200 billion, right, like Elon Musk, how exactly does that work? And would that actually hurt the economy because now he is, again, I don't think Elon Musk has $200 billion sitting under his mattress. I don't think he does. He would need to liquidate his assets, which means sell shares of Twitter or Tesla or things like that. And I don't think he's gonna be able to do that without crashing the stock and which could potentially crash the economy. Now, it'd take a lot, but if every single billionaire did just that, we had Mark Zuckerberg selling shares of whatever company. We have uh, Bill Gates, Warren Buffett, Elon Musk, Jeff Bezos. The list, I can seriously go on and on, but I'm not going to. If you see all these people selling shares of certain companies in order to liquidate assets to pay this tax, what's this going to do? It's likely gonna hurt the stock market. And you think these big businesses are going to donate to a Democratic Party or campaign? if they are now being hammered? No, that's why some people say this is likely not going to happen. Now, why does President Biden not just come out and say, well, let's, let's just fix it. Let's, let's come out with a bipartisan agreement. Well, the reason why he can't do that is because we are a year away from a presidential election. Democrats do not want a bipartisan agreement. Republicans do not want a bipartisan agreement. They want their own plan, a very partisan bill. That's what they want. So how is this gonna work? And what is President Biden's big plan to save Social Security? Well, the first order of business is simple. He wants to tax people making more than $400,000 per year. Now, even though President Biden says that we need to tax the wealthy, Republicans are never gonna get on board with this, honestly. Republicans are not gonna get on board with taxing people over $400,000 per year. But why? Well, it's simple. Because President Biden is skipping the, the whole group between $160,200 and $400,000 per year. They will not pay any more in taxes. He's skipping them. Because his promise when he was running for president was nobody making less than $400,000 per year would pay a penny more in taxes. And he's trying to stick by that. And this is where many Democrats are very upset because he's sticking by this one promise, but all the while, they can't get anything done for Social Security. Again, it's a major problem. And by not taxing those workers, we would see this, this uh, you know, long-term funding shortfall, this would actually get bigger, okay? We are expected to see this shortfall go to $22 billion, actually more than 22, or I say billion, excuse me, $22 trillion 
I believe it's like $22.4 trillion is the estimate through 2097. Now, I'm not saying that taxing people between $160,000, $200, and $400,000 per year is gonna make up this difference, but it is actually going to help and slow down this, uh, this funding shortfall. So, how does President Biden fix this? What is his, his plan? Well, according to reports earlier today, that the Biden administration has been talking about multiple different things. How do we fix this issue? One of the things that the Biden administration wants to do is they want to increase legal immigration into the US. By increasing legal immigration, this would actually create additional tax revenue for those people that can work. Because over the past 25 years, the uh, immigration has seen a decline by more than 55%. So we've seen an immigration, legal immigration decline by more than 55%. When we see legal immigration drop, this causes revenue to drop as well. And that's a huge problem. President Biden also wants to provide more assistance to parents. Probably thinking, well, how does providing assistance to parents help social security? Well, here's why. According to a recent survey, young adults are less likely to have children because of the rising costs associated with raising them. So because of this, less children means less population, which would mean, you know, in 10, 20 years would mean less tax revenue. That's the reason why. So President Biden is going for a more long-term approach when many people right now are saying, we can't wait five to 10 years. We have to solve this today. So now, even though I don't think President Biden wants this to happen, I do think that there's something that's very possible. I've talked about this before. That's raising the full retirement age from age 67 up to age 69. This, these two years might not sound like a, a big deal, but when there's you know 45 plus million people receiving benefits, these two years could be a lot. So do I think this is gonna help? Yes. Do I think this is absolutely needed? Uh, I don't know if it's right now is the perfect time to do it, but there's no perfect time to raise the full retirement age. Everyone says, well, we're living longer. We're able to work longer. No, we're living a little bit longer, but are we able to work longer? Not, not very effectively. We're, we're not efficient when we're 62 to 65 years old. We're, we're actually, you know, in some cases, less productive depending on what you know, field we work in. And so again, that's part of the discussions. But this is all part of President Biden's plan. He wants to save Social Security. Lawmakers want to save Social Security. But what step do they go you know, forward with? What direction? And how are they going to get bipartisan support? That's the big question right now. So as always, as I know more, I promise, I'll come back on and share all the latest news and updates. Again, thank you guys for watching. Consider subscribing, and I'll see you guys on the next one.